Is Tulsi Gabbard the future of the Republican Party? She's a curious politician who isn't afraid to take risks. She's done everything from surfing in New Hampshire in the winter to guest hosting Tucker Carlson's Fox News show. So is she an independent or a Republican? Well, it isn't clear where she stands on all the issues, but she's definitely leaning to the right and could even become a member of the GOP one day after officially leaving the Democratic Party. Hawaii's Gabbard spoke at last year's CPAC confab, which made her an unlikely guest since she's associated with liberalism. In that address, she tried to call for unity in American politics in an effort to eliminate the tribalism and divisiveness in our public discourse. This is after Gabbard ran for president as a Democrat in 2020. So it shows she's willing to cross the aisle when it fits her need for relevance and media coverage. Gabbard has noteworthy experience. She served in the Hawaii Army National Guard and Army Reserves, rising to the rank of major with deployments in Iraq and Kuwait. She was one of the first female combat veterans and the first Hindu Samoan American to serve in Congress after being elected to the House of Representatives in 2012. She was a vice chair of the Democratic National Committee as well and made an unlikely bid for president in 2020. She supported Bernie Sanders for president in 2016 and is no fan of Hillary Clinton. The feud between Gabbard and Clinton came to a boiling point in 2019 when Clinton accused Gabbard of being a Russian asset. Gabbard was quick to respond, stating that Clinton is the queen of warmongers, embodiment of corruption, and personification of the rot that has sickened the Democratic Party. Gabbard later filed a lawsuit against Clinton for defamation. The Tulsi Gabbard became frustrated with the DNC in 2019 when she was cut from the presidential debate field after not meeting the polling and donor threshold. Gabbard was livid and found a new friend in Tucker Carlson to better articulate her grievances. She spoke to Carlson and the Fox News host lauded her for being against U.S. intervention during the wars in Iraq and Syria. By 2022, Gabbard was completely disenchanted with the Democrats and decided to leave the party over what she claims was unending cowardly wokeness and warmongering. She now has her own pundit program on YouTube and is making a name for herself with conservatives instead of liberals, even though she cut her teeth as a progressive. Now, remember what I said about risk-taking. Gabbard isn't afraid to make controversial allies and take unpopular stances. Her alliance with Carlson is risky. Carlson has no friends on the left and often trolls Republicans, too. But Tucker brings in the numbers. He has one of the most popular shows on all of cable. Gabbard is using this audience as a springboard for her own broadcasting career. She's certainly telegenic with her trademark silver-streaked hair and enthusiastic demeanor. Fox picked her up as a paid contributor in November. Gabbard will take an unpopular stance if need be, such as being against aid to Ukraine, which puts her in the lane with some anti-war Republicans. She doesn't want Ukraine to join NATO, either. She campaigned for Senate Republicans in 2022. So why not take the plunge and just join the Republican Party officially? The agenda is not out for this year's CPAC, but she'll probably speak again. Carlson likes her, and Fox approves of her communication ability, but does that translate into another political run as a member of the GOP? A running again is unlikely. She'd need a new home for one thing. Hawaii is extremely left-wing. There's no way she could get elected back home as a Republican. Political office is probably not in her future, but television punditry may be the way to go. She won't have to face unruly voters back home, and she can enjoy her role as a risk-taking rebel, plus make a decent amount of money. She has that military experience, so why not throw some proverbial hand grenades at the Democrats? It could be fun for her.